Hey, it's Cody here with a small NES update. Been buying some NES games. Precious. I think I like this video still, right? This is this looks nice, you know. I could be relaxed, laying down, and still be talking to YouTube. That works, right? Yeah. Onto the games. A lot of these were three bucks, which I kind of yeah hate to put that much, but eh, they're welcome additions to my collection. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I actually think I played an emulator of this. It's like one of those RPGs that you have to, you know, push a command for every single beeping thing. Pick this up, use this, look under this. Oh my gosh. I probably won't ever try to get into it at all, but the the work art the art looks nice, right? Yeah, maybe if I want to torture myself for a review of it or something, I'll play it. Uh, I never heard of this uh, Super V, let's see Super Spike V Ball, and Nintendo World Cup. So I'm guessing that's volleyball and soccer. Who knows? But yeah, not bad. Two and one, you always like that. And also, ooh, it's a four-player game. Too bad I don't have the. Was it the NES satellite thing? A couple more players. That they're very little, you know, four player games for the NES. It's like dodgeball and I guess that. That's all I know. Uh, probably haven't looked hard enough. There are probably more. I've never heard of this one before, but I guess it involves tanks. Laser invasion. No, that looks pretty good. The artwork looks nice. You know, I see a guy there with a knife. Do you see the guy with a knife? And he, I get, that'd be funny if you're the guy with the knife taking on the tanks. That they kind of suck. They're helicopters and shit. Uh, and then we got Kari Warriors. I heard this is kind of like uh, Contra, but you know, it's like that. But I th I'm trying to think. Is this? I think I may have seen footage of this one where it's like the top-down view, and you're like these guys in a jungle or a desert atmosphere. And you can do two players simultaneously, which I love. But I think uh, someone was complaining. I think if I, it's the game I'm thinking about. You get like stuck behind bushes and rocks and stuff, and the game just errors out. And last but not least, I got another edition of Contra, which I was just talking about. It's a little more torn. I mean, it's not as pretty as my other Contra. It's a little more. Uh, it has a little more wear on it. If you can look. You can see how the seat looks kind of grimy and it has a little place. I mean, I'm nitpicking. I'm just nitpicking. It's not that bad, but it has a dent right here. But I got this for a dollar, which is funny because probably all those other games are crap compared to Contra. And it was the cheapest one, which, you know, uh, vintage video game world doesn't make much sense, but doesn't have to. I, I thought this was an interesting topic, though. You know, I kind of feel like a slime sometimes when I'm buying a game I already own over again. Because that's robbing someone else the opportunity to get that game, even if, you know, if they didn't have it the first time. I don't know how collectors feel about that topic. I'm not sure. I thought it would be interesting to discuss, though. I mean, if you have any strong agreements or disagreements with that, I went ahead and bought, bought it because I knew it was going to be cheap at that place. If it was $3, I won't buy a game I already owned. But if it's, you know, dollar range, I... <sighs> I, I tried to fight myself, but I had to get it. Had to have it. So, yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like an asshole because there could be some little kid out there, you know, who never played Contra. Of course, you know, it's probably only other like, other collectors looking for that kind of stuff. So I don't know. It's, a, it's, it's, it's an iffy subject. But I hate to rob a whole new generation, you know, of the chance to play the classic games. Of course, they got virtual console these days. So maybe the point's kind of moot. I don't know. Alright. Uh, signing out.